The Tyranitar and Salomon Spotlight Terror Raid event has begun and we're going to cover all the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So let's dive straight into all the details. Let's go over to our trusty source at Cerebi and take a look at this event. So we did a preview on the news of this event coming out. We've got clarification on the exact details of this event now. So it is going to be split over both versions. So in Pokemon Scarlet, you're exclusively going to have Tyranitar as your event raids. And in Pokemon Violet, you're going to have Salamence in your raids. So you're not going to get the chance to get the version exclusive in your other game like we and initially kind of thought you're going to have Tyranitar and Scarlet and Salamence in Violet. A little bit sad that this is the case but makes sense because the games are so early and they probably don't want to cross over but this doesn't stop us from going into other people's games online and doing the opposite raids to get these Pokemon from this event. The event itself is running from December the 9th which is today as of recording this video until December the 11th which will be Sunday evening so you've got Friday to Sunday to take advantage of this event event and remember if you'd like to keep this event just don't go online and this event will stay in your terror raids until you do go online next so the details are we're going to get a four star terror raid tyranitar this can be any terror type random it's going to have standard ability it will have a chance to be shiny as well and then the moves it will have are earthquake stone edge bite dragon claw and additional move is leer the item drops are pretty standard for a four star terror raid event you're going to get the candies you're going to get some lava tar claws, feathers, you're going to get terror shards depending on what the terror type will be, more candies and a selection of berries and a big pearl and the chance of a nugget in these events. So nothing spectacular for the four star, they're going to be level 45. And then we've got the five star mascot of these events in Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to get the Tyranitar five star terror raid with that ghost terror typing. So that is going to be the typing tied to one of the five star terror raids for Tyranitar. Um, you're going to have standard abilities again. You will have access to hidden abilities within these raids, so it can have its regular ability and its hidden ability. The moves are going to be Earthquake, Stone Edge, Crunch and Ice Punch. Additional moves it will have is Leer and Giga Impact. Item drops are going to be larger candies. You're going to get those Larvitar Claw drops as well as Feathers, the Terror Shards as well. There's more level up candies, Rare Candy as well, Berries, Red Shard, some more higher cost items, and then you're also going to get PP ups and the chance to get bottle caps as well as ability capsules. So no Herba Mystica, unfortunately, I was kind of hoping that we get something like that from this event, but no such luck, but a good way to get some good items nonetheless, as well as these event Pokemon. And then we're going to have another chance at a five star Terra Raid Tyranitar, but this time the Terra type on this Tyranitar can be completely random. It's going to have the same move set, same level level as the exclusively tied to ghost type in Tyranitar and the item drops are going to be exactly the same and then in Pokemon Scarlet you're going to have the chance to get Salamence it's going to be kind of a carbon copy of what the Tyranitar looked like in Pokemon Scarlet Salamence will look like in Pokemon Violet you're going to start with that all-star terror raid level 45 Salamence random terror type for this one you're going to have the moveset Zen Head but Dragon Claw Crunch Dual Wing Beat and then Dragon Breath item drops are going to be exactly the same as that Tyranitar excluding the big on scales that you'll get instead of the lava Avatar Claw, um, but everything else pretty much the same. Then we move on to the Salamence, which is the mascot for Violet's Terror Raid event. Gonna have that Steel Terror type tied to it, and uh, this is gonna be available as a five star raid. You're gonna have level 75, to kind of standard five star raid there. Uh, moves gonna be Dragon Claw Hurricane, Earthquake, Dual Wing Beat, and then Dragon Breath and Dragon Dance are its additional moves, so it is gonna be able to boost up and then exactly the same item drops as you would get for the five star Tyranitar raids as well. And then you're also gonna have the option in Violet to get a level 75 five star Salamence raid with a random terror type. So you're not gonna only just be able to get the steel type, you're gonna be able to get random terror types as well on this Pokemon, exactly the same moves as the other Salamence. It's a five star raid as well as the item drop. So this is the event, like I say, you're kind of tied to your version exclusive in your version, uh, either Scarlet or Violet. Violet, but you will have the option to jump online and join raids from other players who are hosting from the opposite game as you So me as a Scarlet player will be able to go online and join Salamence raids to take part in this event. So it's a good opportunity to try and do that this weekend when the event is running. Again, it is running from the 9th of December till the 11th. 
So when you're in game, you want to just come to your polka portal to update your terror raid dens in the region. You want to come down to mystery gift as normal, then into check polka portal news. And then this will connect you to the internet and you'll get a message saying you've connected to the internet and received the latest updates about what's going on in the Paldea region. 9th of the 12th, 2022. So there we go. And that is all updated. And you'll just be able to disconnect from the internet. You don't need to be on now because unless you're hosting raids or wanting to join raids online, uh, but all your dens in the region will be updated and, and then you'll be able to come onto your map and you're going to be able to have a look for these event dens. Now you'll be able to identify the spotlight dens because of the, the kind of white ping aura that they've got around them. You can see one here. So this will be a rock type Tyranitar you can see and it could be four or five star. Let's see if we can find one of the ghost type Tyranitars. And there we go. Okay, so there's a ghost type one and you can see from the aura we've got a grass type one there and we'll head up to this one. And we know if it's a ghost type, primarily it's going to likely be a five star raid. So that's a good way to identify the five star raid, but it doesn't discount. It could be a four star raid as well because both the four and five star do have the chance to be ghost type as well. They're going to be random terror types, but this one likely to be that kind of mascot for this event and be the ghost type in Tyranitar. So we'll hop in. You'll be able to identify these event dens super easy like the other spotlight dens because they have a much bigger glon aura compared to normal dens as you can see and it is the five star terror raid tyranitar so we did a little bit of prep in our video earlier in the week with a couple of pokemon are going up against specifically the ghost type tyranitar and the steel type salamence uh the ghost type tyranitar pokemon that we put together were high dragon and tyranitar so i think what we'll do is we'll check out see how our high dragon does against this so we've got reflect nasty plot dog pulse and dragon pulse on this high dragon uh, if you want to check out the build the video will be linked in the top right hand corner now so you can check that out and uh, see how well that does for you if you are playing in scarlet or you're going online to take part in tyranitar raids specifically for this ghost terror type one over the weekend so we'll get the reflect up first Ooh, Ice Punch coming straight out. So we kind of know what to expect, but we take that super, super well. And I am a bit sad that we're not getting like Herba Mystic. I'm going to be happily surprised when we do get an event, one of these Terror Raid events, and we do get Herba Mystica as a, an item drop because I think, you know, it would be nice to get that item because it's such a useful item in game. Okay, we're going to get this Dark Pulse off, see how much damage this does. Ooh, okay, this High Dragon is cracked. This is good. This is good for this Tyranitar. Theory worked out. Okay, so there's a shield up from the Tyranitar. We've taken a lot of damage though as well, so we're not in brilliant shape ourselves. But as long as we don't lose our stat buffs here, we'll be able to take it down the next turn, even with the shield up. But there we go, yeah. the, the... It's taken out all our nasty plot boosts away, but that's fine. Okay, back in action. It's, not, it's nowhere near as hard as what the the charizard raid was and there we go it's done so finished off and we'll be able to catch this tyranitar and there we go tyranitar let's see what item drops we get with this one large candy xl candy lavatar claw uh the ghost terror types a couple of tomato berries star piece bottle cap which is nice no ability capsule two nuggets and a large candy so not too bad not too bad and an adamant mint which might be useful mm -hmm. On this particular Tyranitar. Okay, let's have a look at this Tyranitar. Let's hop into our boxes and let's see what this is. So you've got Lax and wow, that's actually really good. It's nearly an absolute perfect Tyranitar. So there's five perfect IVs on this, which is really, really good. Pity it's not an attack, you know, but never mind. Really good Tyranitar with that ghost type in as well. Level 75. Uh, brilliant. So that's ready to train up. So uh, the item drops are pretty good. Okay, there's another Ghost Terror Raid right down here. So we've got another one there. So it looks like you're going to get more than one of these spawning on your map at a time. If you run out of them, if you knock both of them out and you want to spawn some more, you just use the date skip glitch to do that. Now, as this event has been divided, depending on the version of the game that you've got, one of the issues is you're not going to be able to get the other Pokemon in your version of the game. So this will mean a lot of players are going to be hosting this event online to 
share this event with other players, meaning you're going to be able to have a lot of opportunities by going online and joining raids from other players that are hosting it. And for this reason as well, it's good to host your raids that you've got available online as well. You can see as soon as we come in here, there is going to be a five star Salamence raid ready to go. So we'll try and connect to this one. And we do want to change our Pokemon. And we did a little bit of a preview for Pokemon that would be good against Salamence in the preview video. We did say Iron Hands would be very good against it. Also, Hariyama could be a nice option against it with the Belly Drum. Um, and Iron Valiant as well with that Fairy type. And it will resist those Dragon type attacks. So I think we'll go Hariyama. We'll go a good old Iron Hands in this one because I feel like it's just such a solid option anyway. Going to have to be careful around the Hurricane and the Joe Wing Beat. But other than that, we're all good to go. And uh, it looks like pretty much most of the other players are relying on that. We're all, we've all got a f flying weakness. So if this Salomon starts chucking out these Hurricanes um, or dual Wing Beats and it's got its hidden ability Moxie, things could get pretty nasty pretty quickly. So we'll see if it's got Intimidate, which will be the better ability going up against this Salamence for us in this raid. But I wouldn't be sad if it was Moxie because it'd be nice to get a hidden ability Salamence as well. It is Intimidate though, unfortunately. And let's get another Drain Punch off. This should be enough to break the shield. We also avoid the a Hurricane, so we're getting pretty lucky against this Salamence. We like that though, we'll take that every day. There's plenty of raids that we do where it's like bad RNG. I think it's probably better coming in against the Salamence without a flying weak Pokemon. Like a fire type feels like a better option. Although you have to then worry about uh, Earthquake. But I think Rotom is probably a really good option against this Salamence, to be honest. Rotom Heat, I think really good option with Nasty Plot. That would be a very good build um, going up against the Salamence because you avoid the Earthquake and you only need to worry about the Dragon type attacks, which aren't, uh, yeah, which which can be a little bit annoying if it does have Dragon Dance or, or Moxie. But um, otherwise, you could play something like Reflect and Nasty Plot, Overheat, and then whatever else you want to play on there, like. Terra Blast, maybe, um, with a Fire Terra type. That's probably the best the best build. Okay, we get the Salamence, brilliant, and the item drops. Can we get an Ability Capsule? We can't. Two star pieces though, so that's kind of nice. And that is the Salamence. So, the Salamence has got four perfect IVs, so we were just very lucky with our Tyranitar. So it's going to have guaranteed four perfect IVs like they would normally have. We just got very lucky with our Tyranitar that we got in that first raid so there we go we know what to expect from this event and these are the two main pokemon that you're going to be getting from it but you can get other terror types as well that will be available around the region in four and five star terror raids that is all of the information from this brand new spotlight event that is happening from the 9th of december today as of recording this video till the 11th of december so you've got a little bit of time to take advantage of this have fun with this event over the weekend do share it online so other people that don't have the same copy of the game as you can get those version exclusives and you can do the same with their hosting as well thank you so much for tuning in friends let me know what you think of the event down in the comments below and i will see you all again in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves bye bye